What's up, Echu? For today's video, we've been full Genshin Impact Pokemon Team. Skylar, this one is for you. So I know nothing about Genshin Impact, and these are the Pokemon I pick from. So there's a lot of different characters in this game, of course. So these are just some of the suggestions. So I just went down the list and picked some ones out, and I came up with a uh, pretty interesting team. If you do want your own custom theme team or Pokemon sweep, you can check it out at patreon.com slash Link is in the description of the video. I've got two battles with today's Genshin Impact team, and holy moly, this first battle was absolutely crazy. If you do enjoy me doing some more non-Pokemon related or theme teams, just let me know in the uh, comment section too. I'm not really sure, like, do you like them? Maybe I could throw a different sort of one in once a week. Just let me know. Your feedback uh, is pretty much everything to me. That's how I sort of uh, get across and uh, know what I want to do, and as well as what I like doing as well. Okay, we're going to battle here. This is against Hunt Down, and we have a Grim Snarl lead. I've got Lucario as Lumine. I think that's how to say it, Lumine. Now, I made this set a Bulk Up, Force Palm, Jewel Chop, Bone Rush set with the, but the Inner Focus and Item King Drop. The EV Spread max speed and max health and I gave this jolly nature so the idea was to make this more bulky Lecaro and then I could build my attack with bulk up unfortunately we're gonna prank the uh, Grim Snail here that not only uh, used flatter on me it also it, it, you know, attracted me at the same time and paralyzed me so the chances of me attacking here are, are virtually zero like people love to do these sort of sets to me because they like to troll me you know so I got to swap out there that was a salty swap by the way and now I'm going to go into Venti or Ventai, I think that's how to say. I do apologize. Uh, I haven't actually played this game before, and I'm not really sure how to pronounce these names. Then again, let's be real, I'm not that good at pronouncing things anyway. That's just a cell throw set before anyone does that. So uh, I can see the Grim Snarl's got Shell Bell, and its other move is Bite, too. So this is a really, really cruel set. So the Grim Snarl is going to flinch with Bite on top of all the other status. So I've got to swap out and go into Majana. Now, Majana was actually meant to be nicknamed Klee, but I couldn't nickname this one. So it is, uh, well, Klee apparently has like all these uh, like uh, self-destruct, uh, Misty Explodes, like exploding moves, I guess you could say. I gave it Seed Swap and Shift Gear as well because I only wanted to use exploding moves. Now, the uh, EV spread... I gave this was max attack and max special attack. So I wanted to self-destruct and, you know, miss the explosion, do lots and lots of damage. Now, the item I gave it was normal gem. And so I went for a shift here. I was like, let's get the uh, speed up and let's get attack boost here on Grim Style. And then I can go for well, either one of my moves should be able to take this thing up. I'm also paralyzed, of course, by the Grim Style. Now Grim Style is going to swap out and in comes Copper Argent. And of course, of course, I... <laughs> I went for the Misty Explosion. So it's gonna have the air balloon there. I mean, let's let's look at this. The worst thing that came out of this is I sacrificed my Majana here. At least I got rid of, uh, you know, Copper Archer's air balloon. That's gonna change everything, right? So that's the end of Majana. Oh, I'm gonna salt to the explode there. Now the next Pokemon I thought I could swap in here could be my Lakari, because I've got Bone Rush on this set since the air balloon's gone. Now I thought I might be able to get some bulk ups happening here. So Copper Archer is gonna swap out and Arachnid is going to swap in now. Watch this matchup. It was insane. So, of course, I get paralyzed there. We, we couldn't have me not getting paralyzed. And now I'm going to go for Force Palm because I'm going to try and paralyze this thing. It really didn't do a lot of damage, but I got to paralyze finally. Our Force Palm has a 30% chance to paralyze. Now, Arachnid's going to go for an Akkering here. I was like, oh, it, it's going to be a bulky set. And then I seen the leftovers. So like, it's got leftovers and it's got Akkering at the same time. So, it's got like double healing. So, I'm going to need a lot of bulk ups to actually you know, just do some significant damages. So now Arachnid is going to get a free substitute up there because I got paralyzed. Not that I would have been able to you know, faint at that turn, but it got a paral uh, paralyzed on me. And now it's going to substitute. And I really, really need to uh, hit it with one of my multi hitting moves. So the best move that I'd have would probably be Jewel Chop, you know. And I'm hoping I can get you know, quite a few bulk ups here. But I don't know what uh, its attacking move is at this point. So there was a lot of times where the opponent would get paralyzed and, you know, do nothing. And then there was a big stage where I got lots of bulk ups in a row, you know, to do some damage. But since I wasn't running max attack, I needed a lot of bulk ups to do some damage. Because you'd probably have to assume this Arachne is like a, a really, really tanky set, like max health. And at least max health, maybe uh, some investment in defense or special defense. I wasn't really sure, but I know that it probably had max health or a lot, you know, a lot of EVs and health. So we're going to go for a bulk up here again. 
And I want to see if I can get my attack good enough so what I can do is I can break the substitute, you know. So that, you know, the jewel drop should hopefully break it on the first one. And then I'll be able to get a good attacking move off on the second one. So the attacking move the Arachnid's got is dive. I'm like, oh, okay. So it's like a mega, mega stalling set. So it's got substitute and dive and ackering, uh, which is you know, pretty scummy, I'd say at least. So it's going to hide underwater again there. And it's now going to go for its dive the next turn. The funny thing is, I actually got like quite lucky with some of the paralysis because sometimes it didn't even get to attack. It even get paralyzed you know, on the uh, actual turn of attacking. But it did manage to get a dive up here. And that was actually really, really good damage. Like That was a little bit better damage than I thought. So maybe it's got attack EVs. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, I actually went for a force palm there. It was actually enough to break the sub chip, which is good, I guess. Uh, at least, you know, dual drop can miss, but at least, you know, at least that didn't happen. So now it's going to get paralyzed and it's going to go for a dive again. So I thought this is a great opportunity to get as many bulk ups here as possible. I was willing to go for six bulk ups here just to take this thing out. And then the Lakaro would be pretty dang bulky. The only thing is I didn't have you know, much sustain and I was paralyzed. So, you know, I'd get outsped by things. But that's okay. I'm going to be very bulky. So go for Jewel Chop there. Jewel Chop is actually doing really excellent damage. That is a two hit KO. Now, we actually got a flinch there, which is awesome. Only on two hits, which is really, really lucky. And I was like, oh, great. I can finally take this thing out with my next uh, jewel drop, you know. It did get a bit of a health recovery there from the uh, leftovers and the But then I got paralyzed. I'm like, oh, of course I got paralyzed. And then the Arachne got paralyzed. So, you know, that was a very, very much uh, a long-term event. So I think this matchup between the Karu and Arachnid went for about five minutes around it, which is quite a long time, you know, in a battle. So go for Jewel Chop here, and that is going to be just enough to take out Arachnid in two hits, which is great, because that thing, like, that thing was, uh, that was rising my heart rate. So next Pokemon here we've got is going to be uh, Tentacruel. It's like, wow, I can go for Bone Rush here. They're done. And uh, we got the Tentacruel going for a Water Pulse, but since I had max health, I lived it. But... I got confused by Water Pulse. You wouldn't read about it. And the worst thing was, right, I, I hit myself in confusion. Like, wow, that was so lucky. So, unfortunately, Lakari, with all of its stat boost, is going to go down to a trolling, water pulsing tentacle. That would have definitely taken out, you know, with Bone Rush there. Probably like a, I reckon a two hit KO, maybe. Like, even like, a three, I reckon two hits would have taken out. Anyway, we're going to go into Venti. If I get hacks anymore, I'm going to be. Uh, very, very upset. So I've got Spirit Shackle. I've got Roost, Curse, and Feather Dance. I thought Feather Dance and Spirit Shackle work for the Venti uh, character, apparently. And I've got the uh, ability Long Reach and Item Leftovers, Max Health and Max Special Defense. And I've also got uh, Impish Nature uh, on my uh, set. So unfortunately, um, I thought, it, well, I think I might have to go for a, uh, a Curse here because Spirit Shackle's not going to take it out. I might be able to get you know, a setup on this thing. It's also going to have Icy Wind hit me uh, for a reasonably hard amount of damage. And it's got a track too. So uh, like, I want to get one sort of attack off here. So I went for the curse. Sacrifice this as you are, you know. I just wanted to get that curse that thing. At least I might be able to get a free swap too. Or, you know, worst case scenario, I get a little bit of damage there. So some extra damage from the curse. Now what I can do here, I've only taken one Pokemon. Things looking really, really bad. I'm going to swap in my Togetic. Now... What's this? Pymon? Pymon? Piamon. I'm not really trying to say that. But anyway, uh, this set was a Super Luck set. Actually, did a Super Luck ability team yesterday. This one was a little different. Man, that acid did a lot of damage. Man, that did over half my health. So what I did is I went for a, uh, um, a Tailwind to double my speed, right? I've got the item Scope Lens. I've got the ability Super Luck. And I've also got Air Cutter. So Air Cutter has a 100% grip. I've got Water Pulse and I've got Extra Sentry. So I went for Extra Sentry, dropped the Tentacruel one shot with the Crest. Like, awesome, you know. I don't know whether that would have taken it out without a crit. It's got a pretty good bolt to it, so I'd say that probably did matter. So that was good getting rid of that trolling thing. Next Pokemon, it's another Decidueye, which is cool. I'm going to go for Air Cut here, but it missed. I'm like, wow, that sucks. And now Decidueye is going to go for a nasty block. And uh, I was like, well, hopefully I can get an Air Cut off here. You know, I, I'm outspeeding, which is good. So go for that Air Cutter and great damage to Decidueye. That was, you know, excellent damage. And I got another crit, which is good because of the 100% crit. Decidueye is going to go for a second nasty plot. E expect him in the mist twice with their card. That's 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 mean. So Tailwind's going to finish like, well, I'm going to go for Tailwind again. And I went first. It's like, what? So anyway, Decidueye is going to go for an air snatch itself. Since it's got plus four in special attack, uh, that is enough to take out Paimon. I, I, I probably could have attacked it there, but I thought getting that speed could be quite handy in case I... Chances are, I would have probably missed with Air Cutter again. 
So I thought, well, we'll go into a Katani. I can get myself a nice and easy beast boost. So I've got... At least I thought. We've got Razor Leaf, Sword Dance, Guillotine, and Fury Cutter. Obviously, I did a, a nerf down the Katana set uh, into something fun. I, I wanted to make it a physical set, so I went for Fury Cutter. It lived on, like, one health with the crit. The items, I've also got a scope lens, too. And uh, it's going to be eating a berry, which is going to be a Salic Berry, boosting its speed. And it's going to use my favorite healing move there. And it's going to heal itself right up. So, okay, well... That wasn't a very good result, but it wasn't a bad result because I can go for Fury Cutter now and take it out. Hopefully, right? However, we got Dynamax Decidueye. I was like, oh, no, I don't know if this is going to... If I get a critical hit, it'll take it out. That's what I was thinking, like, easily take it out. I mean, it, I, I, I'd say even a crit at this stage would take the Decidueye. If it wasn't a crit, it would have taken the Decidueye if it wasn't in Dynamax. So I can't go for Razor Leaf. I'm just going to go for Fury Cutter again. And, you know, that didn't do very much damage. You got a crit. It's like, okay, that's fine. Uh, now the Decidueye is going to go for a max stairstream stream there, and that is going to uh, hurt really, really bad because Katana's special defense is trash. So... My, uh, my dreams of taking the Sidriya in non-Dynamax were, you know, was shattered there. So bye-bye, Katana. All I've got left now is going to be my Zlongi. Man, that sounded like... Wait, Z Zongli. Zongli. I'm not really sure. So I've got Draco Media Sludge Wave, Grass Knight, and I've got Earth Power. So this is going to be a Power Construct Zygarde. Um, obviously for this uh, Zlong, Zlongy character. And what I want to do here is I want to try and get a uh, special attack boost so I can use Mac 2s. And then I might be able to try and give myself a comeback because things at the moment were looking... They were all dire straight. You know, I've only taken out a Ragnar and a Tentacruel. It was... It was it was a very... I was getting roasted in the chat. Anyway, so I went for a Max Worm in it. I would actually changed my mind. I just wanted to take this thing out because it was such a pain in the bum. And it lived on one health again. I was like, what the heck is with this Pokemon? So apparently it was a very, very bulky special defensive set. I think it was like... I think it could have been Max Health. It was definitely Max Special Defense. And it's going to go for a Max Airstream. So I take that pretty well. That I don't think it's got any special attack investment at all because that should have done, you know, way more. Now the Situai is going to go for a max guard and i went for max Uze because i wanted to get a free special attack boost and you know it didn't happen so that's the end of the situa's uh dynamax which is uh which is fine because now i can take it out now i've got the white herb as the item of course it's going to go for a you know, another healing move to try and stall out you know the last bit of my uh you know dynamax here i was worried too because outside of dynamax i could possibly go you know, there was a very very good chance i was going to get like you know taken out by uh, you know the air slash so i went for that had to go for it to boost my special thing. If I didn't go for that, there was no way I could get around the other Pokemon remaining. So I had to go for that move, you know? I had to see if I could live. Hoping for a miss. Air Sash, unfortunately, is going to land on my Zygarde. And I lived on four health. It was so close. I could get a Sludge Bomb off there. Sorry, a Sludge Wave. Sludge Bomb, Sludge Wave. Regardless, it is why it's going to die there, which is good. And now my power construct ability, because, you know, it was sense of presence of 69. That's going to kick in, and I'm going to get a nice big chunk of health back there. And now we're good to go, people. I love this animation. Uh, I, lo I really like Perfect Zygarde's design. Absolutely awesome. So getting that uh, nice bit of health back there. Next Pokemon is going to be Copperaja. This one trolled me last time, swapping into my Misty Terrain. So now I've got a little present for it, and that is going to be uh, the Earth Power. The EV spread on this is max speed and max special attack. I gave it uh, modest nature too, so I hit it really, really hard. Next Pokemon is going to be Grimstar. This trolled me really hard. So it's like, okay, I'm pressing the Sludge Wave button right now. So pressing that Sludge Wave button, and that is going to be the end of Grimstar. It's like, yes, I thought they may try and go for a Pranks of Flatter, but... That could have been a really, really risky play too, giving me more special attack. Two minutes left of the battle. Last Pokemon, Salamence. I was like, oh no. I think it's going to outspeed me. I tried my best, right? So White Herb's going to kick in there. Didn't really matter. It's going to be a troll set with head bars. Like, don't you dare flinch me. I didn't get flinched and I got the Draco meter off. It didn't miss. You wouldn't read about it. And I'm going to be landing a plus one uh, Draco meter on the Salamence. That is going to take it out. And that is the very, very first game. I hope you enjoyed that. I mean, let's be real. Who thought I was going to actually win that battle when you looked at about halfway? Like, I was getting my butt kicked. But anyway, I, I still got trolled pretty hard in that battle. It was very mean. I was crying and stuff like that. No, not really. I was, it was very salty. Though. Let's get on to battle number two. This one was against uh, Mr. Garzort, and we got an interesting team here. We got uh, a four Pokemon team, and it's going to be uh, some fossils. So I've got my lead as Lakaria. So after getting, like, hacks into oblivion, with, actually, this team got really bad luck, like... Like, 
I know, I know I say that a lot, but like this is quite like probably even worse in general. So I went for force bomb there. I was trying to get that paralyzed and I got it on the second one. So I was pretty good, right? I was happy about that. Now uh, we got a rain dance uh, water absorber uh, set on the Dragovich. The first one I actually got a flinch on, which is pretty funny too. Like I needed one force bomb and I got a flinch. I was like, that's pretty lucky. Uh, so now I'm going to go for a Bone Rush here. Now, Bone Rush can hit multiple times there. And I'm going to try and get a flinch because this is the uh, move that has the most amount of chances of hitting, you know, more than twice. And I got three. I was like, okay, well, it's better than nothing, right? Now it's going to be a physical Dragovish here with Liquidation in the rain. The only reason I took that so well was because of my max health. Now, dual, uh, dual uh, shot. I know they said dual wing beat there. I guess it's still a double hitting move. Really doesn't do very good damage. So, okay, I've got to go for a bone rush to take this out right now. I've got to get a flinch, you know, all five hits. So there's two hits. It's not bad. And then I get another one. Like, okay, this is good. I might be able to get it. And then I got three again. I was like, man. So unfortunately, I didn't get a flinch. And Dragovish is going to take out my Lucario. So bye-bye, Lucario. You did your best. Bye-bye, Lamine. I'm going to see if I can say all these Pokemon names right. Um, so Paimon. Piamon. It's got to be one of those, surely. So anyway, Dragfish is going to swap out there. And we got a, uh, a we got an Archfish called Swiss Swim. So it's based on uh, the abilities and the fossils, of course. Well, some of the fossils. So I went for the Air Cutter. Excellent critical hit there from Air Cutter. And uh, now it's going to go for a Stone Miss, which doesn't miss, which lands. And Togetic takes that really, really badly. Now what I thought it'd be fun to see if I could outspeed this in the rain, you know. Who's going to go first? So I went for the Tailwind. And Air Cutter misses again. Oh, so now it's going to go for Stone Edge, and that, of course, that hits, and that's the end of Paimon. It got made into a pie afterwards. So bye-bye, Togetic. Man, that was salty. I always miss with that. Next Pokemon we got is my Venti. I was like, okay, well, I can either go for a Spirit Shackle, or I could go for a Curse here. I mean, I wonder what other moves it's got. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go for Curse. I wonder what other physical moves it's got. I've only seen Liquidation so far. So uh, I put a curse on myself, and it's got Ice Fangs. Like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to live this one, and I didn't. I think it would have been close, but that's going to be the end of this situation right there. I did get my curse on the Arctivision was good, and the rain is going to stop too. So at this point in the game, I've, lo I've lost half my team. It's sort of like the first battle. Like, I, I, it was just a horrible start to the match. So we've got my curse guy. Yeah, I went to Majan. I'm like, well... I don't really know if I want to use Explosion or Missy Explosion against this Pokemon. I mean, I could, but it's it's got a, it, it's not going to have very much health uh, left before I use it. So now it's going to go for Fishius Ren. I'm like, uh-oh. And Fishius Ren does a fair bit of damage to me. And this thing is actually going to faint the Curse. I'm like, okay, this is good. What I can do is I can let it die to Curse and go for another Shift Gear, you know? So I went for another Shift Gear, grinding them gears. So now I can go for a very powerful self-destruct because I have plus two in uh, attack and I have normal jam. Unfortunately, uh, it's going to set the rain dance up again. Like, okay, well, that's fine. You know, it, it's going to fade to the curse anyway, right? The only thing I was hoping is Dragovish didn't come back in because it only had a bit of health and I didn't really want to waste, you know, self-destruct or miss the explosion on it, you know? Like, I want to use that on a Pokemon that has full health or a lot of health, not just like a little bit. So uh, Soul Art's going to give me a special attack boost. Like, man, this thing is stacked right now. Um, I wish I had, like, an attacking move other than, like, an explosion move. And, of course, Dragovish comes in. It's like, man, I've got to swap this out. So that was a salty swap right there. Like, and, like, I, I, I won't say anything more on that. In a so we're going to Katana right now. I get paralyzed. That's very, very good. Now Katana can get, like, a free real estate uh, Razor Leaf here. So go for Razor Leaf. It lands, which is great. And that's going to be the end of Dragovish. And it's going to give me a Beast Boost, too, with a plus one in attack. Now, with Scope Lens on the Katana, I've got a very, very good chance of actually getting a crit. Because Razor Leaf's got one stage, and so does Scope Lens. So... Excellent chat. So out comes a drag wrench called Strong Draw. I wonder if it's got Strong Draw. It's going to outspeed me, and a holy smokes, that did a lot of damage. So it outspeeds me, and I'm going to go for the Raise Leaf here. Raise Leaf doesn't quite take it out, even with a crit. I was very, very close. That was Adam and Nature. That was, um, that, sorry, that was Jolly Nature. Uh, max speed and max attack. So bye bye, Katana. A very, very close. I think if I got that KO, that would have been the end of the battle right there. So the rain is going to dry up. And it's like, okay, we'll go into my jar now. I'm just going to go for a Misty Explosion and take this thing up. So it's going to outspeed me with Fishius Ren. And Majana goes down. It's like, man, that really, really sucks. Because before I could have at least got a KO. But, oh, you know, it, there's nothing I could have done there, you know. So I'm going to uh, uh, Zlongi. Zl Zl okay. Zlongi? Zonglai? Zongli. 
It's got to be one of those three. I bet you I got one of them. So I go for Dynamax uh, Zyko. I mean, this is a desperation Dynamax, by the way. I had to do it. Actually, this is like, this is deja vu from the last battle. So I was hoping here I could maybe get, uh, maybe I could take this out with like Grass Knot or something like that. Oh, yeah. One of those moves, you know, would be really cool. A Max Overgrowth, you know, I could put that Overgrowth down. So now it's going to go for Fischius Ren here. Fischius Ren does a lot of damage. That was nearly putting me on half health. Sorry, I went for Max Ooze first to boost up my special attack, and that was enough to take out Dragon. So I was happy with that. Now, I have noticed, too, they haven't Dynamax Pokemon, so obviously their very last Pokemon is going to be Dynamax, which is going to be Arc Division. You know this probably is going to either have an Ice Move or something along those lines. I don't really know, but uh, I'm hoping that I can, you know, at least do some good damage right now. So we got Dynamis Arcavish. I wonder what sort of uh, what sort of fossils we're going to get for Gen 9 too, because obviously we all get fossils. Like It's going to be really cool. Like I, I really like fossil Pokemon. I'm actually thinking about... I'm either thinking about doing like all the fossils on one team and, or waiting for Gen 9 and then doing like a mega fossil team, something like that. Anyway, back to the battle here. Just musing so over some uh, thoughts here. So going for back to Overgrowth, coming off Grass Knot. Excellent damage here uh, from that, like well over half health. So the next one is going to go down. Can I leave this attack? I was kind of curious whether I would. And I was like, well, at least I outspeed him. That's very, very good. I've got the White Herb too, if any stat drops. And here comes Max Strikes. Like, okay. This is good because I know that I'll live that and I lived it very well, obviously. And now what happens here is I did get a speed drop. We'll be able to outspeed me. However, I've got the white herbs so and now I'll uh, be about to outspeed it and uh, take it out with the max rope growth. I did think they may try and go for a max guard here. Then I wouldn't be able to go for grass knot. But I was like, well, I've got plus one in special attack. So, you know, Draco Meteor is going to be doing a heap of damage. That should easily be enough. You know, to take it out there. But that, that was just if they had Max Guard, I wasn't really sure. But I was prepared anyway. So I'm going to uh, go uh, change into my complete form here. And I'm going to go for Max Overgrowth. So obviously it did have a status move. And that is the end of the Arc Division. But a cool fossil team right there. Hope you enjoyed both these battles. And I hope you enjoyed the mix up from a, like maybe a not Pokemon team and something like that. But if you did enjoy this, uh, leave a uh, comment and a like. And I'll catch you for tomorrow's battle video. All right. Peace out, people.